Well, when right? you're old, you could be a folk. Yeah. Oh. Old folks home. Mm-hmm. The beach folk. Yeah. That sounds like a different act. That sounds like the folk cover band of the Beach Boys. Mm. All right. Well, did you, did you see the Beach Boys? Uh, for, a, for a moment. For about <laughs> a half a song. <laughs> it didn't even stay for a full song. No, I was on my way somewhere else. I was going to be late. What were you doing that was more important than the Beach Boys? I had tickets to a comedy show right next door. Okay. And I didn't realize that the comedy show, that the Beach Boys were, were playing there until I passed by and went, oh, no, it's the same day. Oh, that's a shame. Should I wait two minutes and finish the song? No. And I thought to myself, well, I did catch a good song. Okay. So, if you know, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if I caught Wouldn't It Be Nice? But <laughs> I didn't. It's unfortunately not the story you're able to tell. Exactly. Um, where was this going? That's where Montreal. the restaurant was. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's where it was. Um, and so it's sort of a high-end uh, French dining experience yeah but we eschewed all of that and got of course cheeseburgers yeah could have gotten burger we added the cheese no oh no that there, it was a it, cheeseburger where you could add bacon oh that's true and i did not add the bacon so this is a three to four week aged beef patty what is that in uh human years or human months Th- three to four weeks it's okay. three to four weeks of human time that the beef is aged yeah, but in, be, in, in like cattle cattle oh, uh, okay. age. Do you years. know how long a cow lasts and then we can break it down and do the math? I, I feel like it would last until it's as big as it can get. And then why waste time and money feeding it? Well, Just no. Break that's, it into that's burgers. The, the natural lifespan of the cow is what's relevant to the age in dog years and cow years, whatever. So not everything has dog and cow years. Not sure, everything has not? dog years. Well, no. Dogs have dog years. And cats have dog years. They don't have dog years. Well, they don't have cat years. Sure, why not? They're the same, the same as dog years. No, they're not. Seven cats years. live longer. Cats live as long as a dog of the same size. Because the bigger the dog, the l- the less it lives. You got me there. I think Three just... to four human weeks. <laughs> okay. The beef is a. Thank you for clarifying. Um, it's blended with breadcrumbs, yolk, parmesan, herbs and spices. Uh... Topped with uh, romaine lettuce, tomato, not for Matthew. Matthew took his tomato off, of course, as his tradition. I was still topped with it. Onion, cheddar cheese, and a Hof Kelston bakery bun, a poppy seed bun, in fact. Uh, $18, $2 extra for bacon. Matthew. Yeah. Initial thoughts on Brasserie Tea today. I wasn't blown away. It looked like a little pop-up restaurant. Mm Mm-hmm. Little uh, like an air like a airplane hangar for model airplanes, but they've been there at least a couple of years. Yeah, I'm not perceptive of things. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a good thing you were on a review podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, another thing too is after I eat, I don't feel like talking. So this is a this is difficult <laughs> for me. I think I wanted to look at the menu before we got in there, and I saw it was an eighteen dollar burger, and I obviously wasn't going to turn away. But you know, I haven't had burgers in months, and to come back to an eighteen dollar burger. I thought I thought a big return episode. We need to go somewhere that is probably going to have a good burger. This is a well reviewed restaurant. Mm. It's a well reviewed burger. And on top of that, Matthew, I nearly forgot until it was time for the check. Way back in episode eighty six of the podcast, the episode for Quick Burger, uh, we made a bet, and I bet you that by July first, Quick Burger would still be open. Mm-hmm. And that no way did they invest that much money in a restaurant that would shutter its doors in no time. And gosh, I was wrong. Within a week or two, that place was closed. Oh, yeah. Um, the same, like, in 2017, that place closed. Before Christmas. Was it before Christmas? It was before Christmas, but we didn't confirm until after. Yeah, that's after. right. Because we, we were like, we no, presumed, they closed Yeah, they the closed for the holidays. Yeah, but like, they never opened again. I never saw them open again. No. I saw the place, it shades back up and it's lights on, but no staff and yeah. no stock. Yeah. It was a very confusing restaurant. Um, you know, short-lived. We got in there. That's like the unicorn of burgers. It's like a in lot a of way, people it didn't was. think it, it ever existed. Is it real? Will it, it ever tangible? truly open? Yeah. It was open for no time, and we got in there. It wasn't good. We got out. I think that was the most feedback we ever got for an episode, too. Uh, the, our, the online presence was astounding. People saying, it's open? It's real? You, you When? Yeah. What? I'm running out there now, but by the time people ran out there... Already closed. Already, you know, paper bags in the windows. <laughs> I'm sure it was 
better than paper uh, bags. So the terms of the bet was yeah. that if it was still open by July 1st, certainly didn't make it that six months, I believe it was, give or take, uh, that I owed you a quote-unquote nice burger. And I kind of forgot about that bet, but I set a reminder for myself for July 1st, and I got a little alarm that says, is Quick Burger still open? If not, you owe Matthew a quote-unquote nice burger. So we went to a nice restaurant, Matthew. Burger on me. Yeah. You didn't tell me until after I ordered my burger, I would have gotten bacon. Maybe I planned that. <laughs> I did not. I certainly did not. I yeah. only realized it when the it was time for the check. Hmm. Well... What did you think of this this place? It was longer than I thought. I don't know if that uh, is. Good I feel like the depth of a restaurant is has been a recurring thing for you, Matthew. So we've been to a few restaurants that are like hallways. Depth is just such a a mind blowing thing. It's the 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 perception of of uh, just seeing in three D is really just a blessing. <laughs> I think. What do you mean? Because you walk into a place like this, and it's it's. It's still, it's just an image. It's two, It's a 2D image. Mm-hmm. Then you walk in, you turn a little corner, and you're like, let's seat you. And it's like, where are you going to seat me? This is a flat, flat Matthew, image. you walking around with one eye closed and you have no depth <laughs> perception? What's going on? I wink to a lot of people. Yeah. So maybe. <laughs> uh, no, I was just very impressed that it was longer than it looked. Okay. Once you get in, yeah. it's more spacious than you would presume, like a, like a, like a fiat. Like a, oh, sure. <laughs> I feel like that car reference really threw you for a loop, Matthew. I didn't know it was a car. A Fiat? I'm real bad a at Mini cars. Cooper? Uh, Mini Cooper. Yeah. Also a car. Yeah. Is there a Cooper? Uh, maybe there was in the 60s, but not lately. Okay. I'm real bad at cars. Like, I, uh, four-year-old know more about cars. Mm, that's true. Uh, what, what was the question? So the building is <laughs> larger than it appears from the outside. Oh, yes. And... Uh, this is sort of one of the fancier restaurants that we've been to. We sat down at the table. There was a, a candle lit. Once we, uh, once I ordered my cocktail, uh, they took away the wine glasses because you, know, you sit down. It's presumed that you'll have a glass of wine, yeah. maybe even a bottle. Uh, they asked, "Would you like some water, still or sparkling?" Yeah. You don't get that question when you go to uh, Burger King. No. They say you want a Coke. I think we're uh, at that point. I think we were out of our element. Oh, absolutely. You had you had uh, made the conscious decision to button up all of your buttons before walking in. Only two. Only two buttons? Yeah. And by the time you sat down, you, had only, shirt. you only had one button buttoned up. I, you sat no, down, no, no. Were... Actually, as I sat down, I undid my two buttons as if I was wearing a blazer. <laughs> you were you were Winnie the Pooh-ing it. You are just at the one little... Is that what Winnie the Pooh? No, Winnie no, the Pooh Winnie has... No, Winnie the Pooh only wears a shirt. He, no, wears, he wears no a, pants. He wears a belly top. Yeah. <laughs> He's just walking around with a, <laughs> like his belly hanging out. <laughs> Who only wears one one button? I don't know. Some other cartoon character. Probably yeah. a hobo from the 30s. <laughs> okay. So I looked not unlike a hobo from the 30s wearing my Hawaiian shirt from the 60s. <laughs> I ordered a cocktail. Sure. It wasn't long before we knew what we wanted. There is one burger on the menu. Oh, that's, that's incorrect. There is a veggie burger on the menu. And then the cheeseburger uh, with the option to add bacon. Yeah. Um, we both ordered our burgers medium rare. Yeah. How well do you think that burger was cooked, Matthew? I think it was cooked well. I think it was cooked medium well to well. No rarity in that meat. Yeah, there, there was, was no, no pink. Pinkness to it. I wanted it, a little red. It was red. kind of juicy, yeah. I will say. But I was hoping for a little a little redness in that burger, a little mm-hmm. pinkness in that burger. I wasn't hugely disappointed because I feel like the texture and flavor of a rarer burger was present. It was yeah. really just a visual difference to me. Yeah, if I was a blind man eating a burger, I would say you cook this perfectly. But because I could see, um, you were disappointed. Yeah, don't 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 tell me it's going to be medium rare if I don't see any blood. Now, Matthew, I need the blood. <laughs> what? It's been a very hot summer. Yeah. It was just shy of breaking the record. Well, at least for the month of July. Okay. It was the second warmest july on record i believe the mean temperature was like maybe 0.2 or 0.3 degrees lower than the 1921 record Mm. uh so regardless uh, nearly a hundred year uh record for heat in july okay matthew do you think it's global warming uh i i feel i feel trapped now (laughs) <laughs> your question. Just answer your honest opinion. No, man. Global warming is a hoax. Yeah? I don't know if I believe that, but uh, <laughs> I I just know that, I mean, the world goes through cycles, right? 
This is one of those cycles. It's hot. You're going through a hot cycle. Th- things have happened. I feel like I've past. heard in the in the 1400s there were dairy farms in Iceland, and they couldn't do that now. Yeah, I mean the world's always changing, constantly changing. I thought that was a good thing. Change is good. So if summers are are real hot and the polar ice caps are melting, that's that's not change. All, not all change is good. If I lop off your hand, that is a change. It's not a good change. Well, it could be good for so. Like, what if I grow? I mean, I I don't know what I'm going to end hold up. Hold on, doing. hold on. No, I want you to pursue that idea. What if you grow what? Are you going to grow a new <laughs> hand, Matthew? <laughs> You don't know what's possible. <laughs> um, you don't know what's possible until you try. No, but I, I was actually going to say, what if I grow up to be this like horrible murderer? What do you mean grow up to be? You're a grown man. You're always growing. <laughs> Aren't you always growing? I could grow up to be somebody. Wait, not, not, you're not growing up anymore. Uh, you're grown up. You're a grown up. All right. But I could grow older. Okay. Or so I you're could, an old hooked man. Or I can grow into murderous tendencies. Okay. Because you lost a hand? Oh, my hand. Yeah, I you lopped off head. a hand. No, no, head. no, not a head. Okay, I thought that was very cruel. Well, that idea. would also be bad, but... It's all bad. Uh, no, I don't know. I, I wouldn't like it. I'm just saying, like, what if what if that somehow saved the world? How is me... Oh, you're saying you were going to be a murderer. Now I've chopped off your hand. Yeah. It's going to be harder for you to kill. Yeah. Feels so like that's a... a change that is good? Yeah, now we feel like we're into like a Schrodinger's uh, cat type of situation mm. where it's like, who knows? Fair Maybe enough. If, if you doing it is what caused it or if I was going to be that way anyway. Who, I don't know, man. So, Matthew, it was a hot summer. Uh, it was a hot summer. What did you do to beat the heat? Uh, like you ask asking what I did on my summer vacation kind of well, deal? Well, yeah, yeah, both. No, no, really the heat. I had two air conditioners going. Yeah? Is what I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, and that's that's went about to the, went to it. the went to the movie theaters a lot. Uh, no, I mean I got my own air conditioning. I can watch my own movies. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I can, and I you know I've been I've been focusing on my body, mm-hmm. rediscovering my body. It just sounds like you're masturbating a lot in front of an air conditioner, Matthew. <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> is that not what summer's about? <laughs> uh, no, I, I you know you sometimes you forget about life's little joys. Are you still talking about masturbation? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I was just like, but then you 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 rediscover your earlobes, and this is something this I discovered. Still this sounds like you might be going in a weird place, but just go on. A, feel that earlobe of yours. I don't know if yours feels as, as uh, tantalizing as mine, but <laughs> you know, it's like a weird little skin flap. It's like it's just it's you, you don't anyway. That's one of the things that I've been doing this summer: feeling my earlobes, just feeling the lobe. I feel like it's not uh, something that you think is normal, so I'll move on. Um, and tanning. I've been working on my tan, my yeah. summer tan. You look healthy. Uh, good. Good. Yeah, I'm going to be a little golden boy by the end of, <laughs> of the summer. <laughs> Don't play any of this audio on the, the episode where we find out I've got cancer, uh, skin cancer. <laughs> now, but... now, Matthew, I've got, a, I've got sort of a follow-up question for you. Um, we grew up not too far away from Oka Beach. Oka Beach is a nude beach. Well, one of them. A part of it. There's, there's one, there's a nude part. Would you go to the nude beach and tan uh, in the buff? No. No. How how buff would you be? How buff would I be? Like, how naked would I be? Yeah. Uh, but I would wear, like, uh, Speed shorts. Up? No, shorts? No, no, trunks? No, no, no. Swim trunks? I'd, I mean... So the we, same the same clothes as any other beach. No, I'd be wearing jeans, probably. <laughs> I mean, people who n- have listened to this podcast before know that I very conscientious don't like about your showing legs. my legs. Yeah. So yeah, probably jeans. Maybe I could wear like long shorts, but that's it. Really? Yeah. But s- not swim trunks. Long yeah. swim trunks. Maybe long. Yeah, sure. Long swim trunks. But it's really the top I'm focused on right now. I'm yeah. going fo- to worry about the <laughs> the legs at another point. Like I don't know legs. All my mirrors don't show my legs. Mm-hmm. They're all waist. They're up all mirrors. waist up. Yeah. Okay. Who cares about the feet and the and the knees? Well, Matthew, maybe that's why your shoe situation is the way it is. What's my shoe situation? I don't know. I was just giving you a, a slight dig that was uh, baseless. I saw that you got new shoes, Matthew. You did. Yeah. I'm. I'm trying to uh, up your shoe game. Yeah, I just want a pair of shoes that I can go jogging in. You you sent me a text message maybe a month ago, <laughs> oh, yes. asking me for shoe advice. I need yeah, I need your help. It was a desperate out of desperation. It, it seemed like it. I in think the that text was the, the only co- conversation we had.